<laughs> is that Jennifer Love Hewitt? That's you and Jennifer Love Hewitt. Oh, oh my God. Dude. Hi, I'm Kat McPhee Foster. Hi, I'm Eddie Cibrian, and we're going to play How Well Do You Know Your Co-Star with Marie Claire. Here's my first question, Kat. Okay. My first ever on-screen role was playing a janitor on which TV series? A, The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. B, Saved by the Bell, The College Years. C, Boy Meets World. Or D, Doogie Howser, MD. Oh my God, you've been working forever. I mean, you, it could be any of those shows. Or is it all of the above? There is no all of the above. Um, okay, you were a janitor on either, okay, Safe by the Bell was one choice. Wow, Doogie Howser was like definitely my jam. Um, I'm gonna say Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. <laughs> Actually, that would have been awesome. I love that show, right? It was Saved by the Bell, the college years. Oh, uh, it's all right, because I'm Saved by the Bell. That's it, yeah. You did, I bet you didn't even know they had the college years. No. No, I know, yeah. I think there was only like two seasons or something like yeah. that when they all decided to go to college from high school. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, I was a janitor. I had one line, and I thought I made it. Pate? Yeah, I just fixed it. Flesh is like a dream now. <laughs> My first question for you is, what songs did I sing from my American Idol audition in 2006? You're not gonna know this. Oh boy. Okay, A, son of a preacher man. B would be God Bless the Child. C, Dancing in the Street. Or D, Summertime. How does God Bless the Child go? Then that's God shall then that's not to lose. So the Bible says that it still is news. Oh, you really know that song. I'm giving you a lot there. Okay, I'm gonna say that. You're right! Yes! <laughs> so good. Wow, that was good. How did you know? Wow. Them that's got shall get them that's not how long have I been married to my wife, Leanne? Mm -hmm. A, four years, B, seven years, C, nine years, D, 13 years. Did you say What's ten? that? Oh, wait, it's nine years, because you're going to be married 10 years. Yes. Yes, very good. I feel like that, that just came up in a conversation, so that was, you got, you got a clue. So my question for you is, um, I attended the same school and did musicals with uh, which one of these famous women? A, Natalie Portman, B, Meghan Markle, C, Katy Perry, D, and Hathaway. Well, I know you're from the Valley, right? And I know I know the school that you went to, the high school you went to. Meghan Markle? How do you get all these right? Ding, ding, ding. Next question. What was the name of my late 90s, early 2000s boy band? What? Exactly, I knew you were gonna say that. Was it Three Deep, Three Wise Men, Three Dimension, or Three Sheets to the Wind? Wait, hold on a second, because this is like, this is a bigger conversation. I we knew it. We have been acting all shy. Our First of all, our show, just for those who are watching, it's about uh, a country uh, fa a country family, and there's music in it. It's, there's singing, there's country music, and Eddie's been trying to hide behind the fact that he doesn't sing, and now you're telling me that you were in a boy band? Look, remember we had this discussion? Every boy band, especially back in the day, right, had the dude that just talks, right? He breaks it down. He breaks down the lyric, but it's, he just talks it, right? That was me. Oh. That's what I did. I would say Third Dimension because that's the only semi-cool name. <laughs> yeah, I wish it was. Three deep. Oh. You know, it was three of us. Three. We were, you know, we were three deep. Get it? <laughs> You guys, look at that. Who's in? That man, those. Oh, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? I won an episode of Lip Sync Battle by performing one of my opponent's own songs while competing against him. Who was it? A. Jason Derulo. Or B. Ricky Martin. C. Snoop Dogg. Or D. Justin Bieber. I'm gonna say Jason Derulo. Yeah, you're right. 
That's amazing. Good. That's all deduction. You got to just deduce some things in your head. You know what I mean? Like Snoop Dogg wouldn't have gone on that show with you. <laughs> Although I was no Snoop Dogg was my other choice. I was like maybe it's Snoop because I can see Snoop doing that. Actually, now you're thinking it's weird. I know too much about you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large collection of which of these things: stamps, tequila, comic books, or sneakers. Hmm. I see you at work. You have great sneakers. And we don't really, we've never really hung out socially. And I, so I don't know if you're a drinker or not. Although I do love tequila. Um, definitely not stamps. You're not a stamps guy. That would be, mm. kind of, that'd be kind of weird. And then what was the other one? Comic books. Yeah, no. Um, I'm gonna go with sneakers. Tequila. Oh no! Yes! This is what happens during a pandemic. We've never gotten to like, Go hang out with our spouse. Oh, you would know, yeah. If we if we if we all hung out together, you would know right away. Sneakers yeah. was a good guess too, though. Sneakers is a good guess, yeah. But I have I have so much more tequila than I do sneakers. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah. You know what? I love tequila, so. I love tequila. Yeah. yeah. Good. We have that in common. Yes. When I was 19, I played the lead role in a regional theater production of which musical? A. Evita. B. Annie Get Your Gun. C. Mamma Mia. Or D. Hairspray. Mamma Mia. Uh, Hairspray. Uh, oh, geez. It's uh, Annie, get your gun. Annie, get your gun. It's another show that I do a southern accent, just like the show that we're in. It's Annie, get your gun. I'm quick on the trigger with targets not much bigger than. <laughs> See? No wonder you're such a natural on this show, on Country <laughs> Comfort. You had it in you this whole not time. My, not my first rodeo. Not my first All rodeo. right. In 1995. I appeared in a music video for which singer? Okay. Alanis Morissette, uh -huh. Yule, Natalie and Bruglia, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Say Natalie and Bruglia again. I don't. Yeah, Nat, Natalie and Bruglia. Okay. Well, so since you said that wrong, you definitely weren't in that. Music. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Were you the love interest? Yes. If I was to pick, like, which of those three girls would pick? a dashing, good-looking Eddie for their music video to like fit their vibe, I would go with Jennifer Love Hewitt. Ding, 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 ding. You did it. Was that the first one you got right? Is I think so. Oh, second one. Which one of these 1980s TV movies was produced by my father? A, Revenge of the Stepford Wives. B, The Jane Mansfield Story. C, The Curse of King Tut's Tomb. D, The Incredible Hulk Returns. I'm gonna go with B. Yay, Jane. you're wrong! <laughs> I'm wrong? Oh, what was it? The Incredible Hulk Returns. It was. Oh, wow. I haven't seen it. How was it? I never saw it. <laughs> I have no idea. Hey, that's not nice. Well, it was like four or something, I think. Gotcha. Gotcha by one. That's fine. <laughs> yes, yes. See, but we did learn something new about each other. We did. That was great. Yes, it was good. It was good. Yeah, I mean, we didn't really get that much time to get to know each other. Eddie and I were so stoked for this job. We were like, this is a fun show. It's a great schedule. We would like high five each other. We didn't know each other that well, but the thing that we sort of celebrated all the time was like it's 12 30 we're going home high five see you tomorrow we would make it a game to see who can get in their car quickest when they call okay you're done for the day <laughs> and we'd both be we'd both be rushing out to get in our cars to leave as quick as possible i mean because it, it was such a joy to have to have that ability to do so that was our bond that was good yep. thank you guys so much for watching this was so much fun and don't forget to watch our new show country comfort on netflix